Hi guys, this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again. So this is an overview for you guys' Mercury retrograde readings. I'm just going to put the message uh, before the reading. So Mercury retrograde is going to be in Virgo during August 5th to the 28th of 2024. Okay, for those of you who don't know, that's the period of Mercury going retrograde, okay? It's going to go direct on the 28th, 29th fish in Leo, okay? So keep that in mind. So here are some upsides of Mercury retrograde in Virgo, okay? So this will be a great time for research and revising anything that isn't up to par, whether it be stories, m music, reports, whatever the case may be, songs, whatever, okay? Get organized, file things away, get rid of clutter in the home and the workplace, research both natural and conventional medical therapies and options if you or someone you care about have health issues. Always consult your physician as well, licensed medical doctor as well. Had to put that disclaimer in there, okay? Quit any unhealthy habits that come up with uh, a, and actually come up with a modest and realistic plan that can help you adjust and build upon your needs to help you achieve whatever goals that you want to set for yourself, okay? Also, adjust and tweak your day-to-day -day life so that it can be improved by new ideas that you have and a new perspective, okay? So the top five things, I know there was a lot, that you can do during Mercury Retrograde to help yourself out. Double check your work, finish anything that you haven't started or have started, <laughs> I should say. Double check any contracts you need to sign. That's two. Three, get rid of clutter. Said that in the overview. Four, get a health checkup. Five, revise your diet so it's healthier, okay? If you know you like to snack a lot, try to get healthier snacks. I know that's easier said than none, but work with yourself and with the energy, okay? Now, things to watch out for. Challenges in your workplace. That could be anything from breakdowns in communication, Delays in communication, equipment breakdowns, cranky co-workers, gossiping co-workers, just all around mean, nasty co-workers. That is what it is, okay? Double check all the facts and figures, okay? Whether you're working a nine to five, you're doing a business deal, you're working for yourself, whatever the case may be. Double check all facts and figures. I'm telling you that now. Don't say that you weren't one, okay? Think things through, but don't overanalyze because Virgos, along with Geminis, have the ten the tendency to overanalyze things. You're hearing it from a Virgo yourself, okay? Constant worrying can make you feel stressed, so try to limit that, okay? I know. It's easier said than done. Just relax as much as possible or your health could suffer. That's common sense. Okay. Helpful tips. There's only so far you can go when it comes to being helpful to others okay you can lead a horse to, to the water but you can't make a drink meaning you can suggest things that are helpful but it doesn't mean everybody's going to take your advice or will heed it or will overall implement it okay so just take it for what it's worth okay two if someone doesn't accept your advice and help don't take it personal yeah i struggle with that one myself okay and three, try not to be picky about something from the past unless you really, really need to fix it. Whether it be a relationship, a project, or whatever. Okay? And I'm I'm, I'm going to put use your own discernment with it. Okay? Just saying. All right. And those are some helpful tips. A bit of information about Mercury Retrograde. How you can use it to your advantage. Uh, be creative during this time. Don't just sit and be idle actually re revise edit brainstorm clear out some negative energy both physically spiritually emotionally to help you move forward okay guys uh and i will see you guys in your reading bye y'all hi guys it's empress virgo empress virgo tarot back again with another reading this time it is a mercury retrograde in virgo reading for gemini sun moon rising and venus placements so let's get into the reading okay y'all all right, so let's split the deck. We have the strength card and the five of swords. Okay, so divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Christmas, or Mercury, Retrograde, and Virgo? 
And for those of y'all who do not know, Mercury Retrograde and Virgo is from August 5th to August 28th. It will be going direct in Leo on the 28th slash 29th ish. So this reading is just to see what you will be working with, the energies you will be working through during Mercury Retrograde and Virgo, okay? And rods. So as always, like, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. And remember, if a message doesn't resonate with you, let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, all right? But if it does apply to you in your particular situation, consider liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, hitting that notification bell, and checking out my book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal. Thank you so much for the support, all right? Okay. Get into it. All right, messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. We have two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles have been coming up a lot lately for all signs. So this is interesting. Balancing energy. Let me get this card because it fell out. Put it back in. See if it come back out again. All right. Messages for Gemini, Sun. Well, damn. Some bad boys slip. Put them back in there. Two man, one sign spirit. Ba, 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 ba. What we got? Nine of Wands. I'm gonna let that some. That's two man. That one wanna come out? Queen of Wands. <laughs> Alright. Time of the reading, Count of Pentacles. Alright. Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Overall energy, Six of Pentacles. Balancing of energies, reciprocity. Um, receiving something that is due to you. Okay. Working through some things through in the retrograde. So, we wonder what's due to you. For some of y'all, y'all might be either giving something or receiving something. Mm, that's interesting. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. Balancing of energies coming out of very, very negative energies to where you felt like you were beat down, bruised, and battered with the Nine of Wands. Um, that could be coming out of a breakup, coming out of just yeah, a very foggy, dense energy that you're going to be working through. So, I feel like a lot of y'all might have been trying to spread yourself too thin in different areas of your life. Only you would know how this resonates with you as the queen or the king of wands. Take care of how it resonates. But I feel like at the center of the reading with the Ten of Pentacles, everything is working out. The work, whether physical, emotional, spiritual, that you put in is not going in vain. I feel like. It seemed like that at the time, or it probably still seems like that, especially during the retrograde energy. The energy is very thick. Um, it's it's all working out. You're going to have the stability and the security that you seek, but even if you can't see it right now, Gemini placements, so you got a new beginning, a new emotional beginning, or if somebody's coming with an offer. It could be a love offer. It could be a job offer. It could be a business offer. It could be an offer of friendship. They could have resonance for you, but it's going to be a long time coming. And I feel like that full moon in Capricorn we just had and then new moon and Leo we just had are going to play a big part in whatever this offer or new beginning is for you, Gemini placements, okay? It's different for everybody, so let's see. What crystal message Spirit has for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And like I said, the um, retrograde is in Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Your ruling planet as well, Gemini. So it will be affecting you significantly. Like I said, it's a lot of heavy, dense energy you'll be working through, whether you realize it or not, okay? So just be on the lookout for that, okay? Ooh, 
Azurine. Ezure, um, <laughs> oh, I butchered that. I never heard of them. So let's look it up and see what the deeper message is. It almost looks like black tourmaline, but it's not. Okay, so the essential meaning of azure never heard of it before but this is new integrity solidarity impeccability reliability and consistency okay mm. although we are always evolving we all possess deeply held values that we do not have to compromise your personal integrity matters so if you're feeling pressure to say yes when your heart says no or to be something you're not listen to the message azurine spirit brings you now's the time to remember the importance of being reliable and impeccable with your word wow that's ten protocols for sure morals family stability security if you really want it to say no don't say yes for now and try to correct your mistake later People may struggle to accept your truth and your decisions, but stick to them. Be solid and consistent. Because what matters to you deep down matters to the conscious universe who loves you. If you're feeling unsure, doubting whether you have a right to take a stand, become still and reconnect with the universe, the conscious universe through, the crystal, through this crystal. It's not your job to protect everyone's feelings and to keep the peace at all costs. You don't have to rush about smoothing everything over Ooh, that could be with family friends co-workers or whoever be at peace as you stand firm for your deepest values are in sync with your purpose and the conscious universe wants you to feel and be strong right now so the prosperity message for azurine it says now is the time to be unfailing in your inherent in your adherence to your values ten of pentacles all day okay <sighs> know where you are willing to bend and where you are not be in touch with what matters most to you knowing that abundance takes many forms and will show up in many ways be fully present and impeccable in your financial transactions and dealings that's ten of pentacles and two of pentacles if you have money decisions to make Meditate on what fair looks like. Mm. You will have a greater you will have greater clarity about where to make a stand and where to compromise and where a little compromise feels right. So for some of you, it's about making decisions about money, divvying up money, sharing money, investing money. Don't compromise on that. Um if it's something for the best interest of all involved, you're going to be working through their energy during Mercury Retrograde and Virgo. Ask for clarity during this time in order for you to come to the highest decision that you can live with. Okay? Okay, so let's get your Anubis Oracle message. Anubis Oracle message for Gemini, Summer Rising, and Venus Placements for Mercury Retrograde and Virgo. Spirit. And on your morals, but be flexible. Mm -hmm. Alright, what we got? Higher love and wisdom, have Thor set and watch it. I can't remember who else got this. Was it Virgo? Maybe? Okay, let's see. Number five, that's the key card. He cut. Let's see. Okay. The magic of Hathor's unconditional love prepares us to meet our shadow selves. Set as the trickster shows us our shadow and clears the pathway for each of us to receive. Watch us great awakening and the infusion of life force energy. When his card is pulled, engage with the Netaru directly and see how they are part of your life now. Allow yourself to experience the love of Hathor and the allies you can take with you as you face the shadow in yourself and your situation. With the ensuing magical resolution, you can stand with humility before Wajet's towering power. Meaning, if you need help, Working through these energies about money, stability, security, morals, and how money plays a role in your life. Get in tune with these deities and ask for help, guidance, and clarity in moving forward on your path, okay? Mm, okay. 
So that is all I have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys found some clarity and helpful information in this reading. If you did, get the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my book, Life is Not a Dress for Her. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.